everyone today agrees in Africa that without knowing talent, you don't understand the learner. As a matter of fact, you cannot be able to focus the learning of that young person, that youth, or that adult. Unfortunately, in Africa, we only know talent by the naked eye. So the universities and colleges, even if you hear on their own promotion materials, they tell you, just like governments also do, follow your talent, follow your passion, follow your interest. How on earth can you follow your passion? How can you follow your interest? You are talking to a high school young man or young woman and you ask them to follow passion, follow interest. Are you serious? That is different from what we always do. If a child is sick having fever in the night, yes, you quickly remember the medicine your grandmother used to use and you quickly send a tax to buy for you from a pharmacy. Fever is just a symptom. So the same thing, passion, interest, they are just symptoms. Symptoms can be the most misleading thing. Having fever could yes mean malaria, could mean typhoid, could mean pneumonia. Now you can imagine if you give medicine for malaria while the sickness was typhoid. First, you introduce a new sickness and you aggravate the, pre the previous sickness. By the time you get to hospital, you'll be an inpatient in the ward, spending hell of money in there. This is one of the reasons why we're telling everybody in Africa to embrace what's happening in the US, in the UK, in Europe, and in many emerging Southeast Asian countries. Today, you cannot teach a child if you don't have the knowledge about the talent of that child. You will never teach a young man or a young woman without knowing their talent. You cannot support the growth of any adult without understanding the talent of that person. And there's one cornerstone reason. Talent is planted in you at the time of conception. Your job is to find what talent you have. Repeat, what talent you have. I know you generally just talk about talent. For you, talent is sport, talent is music. In sport, in music, there are a variety of genuses of talent, and that must be defined. To know your true talent, we have to take a scientific and a professional approach. The steps are, there must be oral screening to determine what happened during pregnancy and at birth and the first four years of growth. We must determine the soul and the spirit through what is called BPT analysis, basic personality, personality analysis. And finally, we must do a confirmatory test using a machine known as anthropobiometric machine that gives us the signal sequences between the front lobe of the brain and the quantum points on your body. Without that scientific process, you're just guessing just like a mother guesses in the night when the child has got fever. The government of any African nation must be aware that today things have changed.